boys varsity basketball team had a successful season this year, fighting through adversity and the challenges of COVID-19. We finished the season in second place in the Golden West League with a record of 6-4, and four, making the CIF Division 3A playoffs. We stuck to our game plan against a very good Marina squad, but it came, we came up just short. I'm so proud of how we competed this season. I want to give special recognition to Miguel Ortega and Drake Anzai for being named first team all league and Xavier Medina for being named second team all league in the Golden West League. Finally, thank you to all the seniors who made many sacrifices to compete this season. Hui Duong, Gabriel Zarilla, Brandon Tran, Matthew Estrada, Jimmy Flores, Danny Sanchez, Xavier Medina, and Drake Anzai. Congratulations and thank you. This year's baseball team went 14-7. and seven. We had a great season. We were led by seniors Anthony Sanchez, Adrian Martinez, and Andrew Curran. Adrian Martinez and Anthony Sanchez made first team all league, as well as Corey Anderson. Second team all league players were Cedro Gonzalez, Noah Figueroa, and Anthony Martinez. I just want to thank all our players for all of their hard work this year, and we're really going to miss them. Hi Argos, this is our final recap for our Argos track and field season with some outstanding performances by our varsity track athletes. Johnson then dominated the high jump, long jump, and triple jump. All right, this is Brittany Tran. She destroyed the hurdles this year. We got Melissa Moreno and Christian Lee leading the distance group this year. We have Leslie Pham and Leslie Villa Gomez led the throwers and placed the league finals. Joshua Cardona, Jessica Muniz, and Danny Nguyen led the sprinters with an amazing season. And Danny over here was league champion, officially the fastest runner in the league. Way to go, Argos. Congratulations. And we're going to miss you, seniors. To all the coaches and teachers who supported us this year, thank, thank you. you! Hi everyone, I'm speaking on behalf of Coach Frank and want to say a few words about our softball team. First, shout out to our newbies to softball, Wynn, Rachel, Tram, and Martina, just a great job. Fantastic contributions came from Gabby, Sophia, Jaden, and Jessica. You girls are awesome. Extraordinary pitching came from both Serena and Caden. Looking forward to more great things from you both next year. Awesome leadership came from Jasmine, who never missed a practice, just played wherever he asked her. Just a great teammate. Lastly, our captains in Vic and Teresa, were better known as T. Vic caught every inning of every game this year. Great team player. And T, who was outstanding in every possible way. Leadership through example. Humility, never about her, just the team. Skills, let's just say 11 home runs in a shortened 18 game season, just outstanding. Thanks for a great season, girls. Our boys volleyball program went undefeated in league this year, only dropped one set during the season, made it to the CIF playoffs, all the way to the second round where we went down. But congrats to a great season, congrats to our 10 seniors who are gonna be leaving us this year. We're very thankful for you being part of our volleyball family. These amazing seniors are Isaac Barrera, Benjamin Nguyen, Little Ben, Brandon Pham, Benjamin Liu, Big Ben, Kenneth Vu, Z Loba, Dan Bowie, Matt Fluitt, Matthew Nguyen, and our captain and Golden West League MVP, Jernail Singh. Congratulations on another great season, guys. One last time for my seniors. One, two, three, family! Hey, Mr. Kim, what do you got there? Is that the 2021 yearbook? Can I see it? Well, um... Hey, 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 wait. This, this is all empty. Is the yearbook not done yet? Normally, we're done with the yearbook in April and get them by June. But this year, the sports were delayed and we wanted to cover them. Then we had to wait for the undergrad portraits. And since we're not going to get the yearbook by June, we thought we might as well wait for one more event. Graduation. This is our historic 100th anniversary yearbook. And we're going to fill this 368 pages with memories from not only this year, but from the last 100 years, with photos of every single graduate in this historic year. So, M Mr. Kim, where can I purchase one of these? You can pre-order now at gghsyearbook.com. Got it. All right, seniors, today is Senior Assembly, 2 o'clock. The link is in the Google Classroom. Make sure you're there on time, because we're going to talk about all things graduation practice and graduation, which is Tuesday. Uh, we're coming to the end. So proud of you, so glad to be uh, walking this path with you. This is the last time, Dr. Fulton, out. Hey Argos, last week we recognized the three teachers who are retiring after nearly 100 years of combined service. That's Miss Brown, Miss Trin, and Mr. Frank. Thank you guys so much for your service and your dedication to our students and to our community.
we wish you the happiest of retirements. And we've also got some staff who are moving on from Grove. Miss Hathaway, Miss Powell, and Miss Bartolotti are all going to be working at the district as a teacher on special assignment. And we also want to say goodbye to our counselor, the wonderful Mrs. Pierce. She'll be taking a leave of absence next year where she'll be able to take care of her two beautiful children. And lastly, our assistant principal, Dr. Fulton. He's going to be transferred over to LQ, but you know, Dr. Fulton, he will always be in Argo. So, Ms. Brown, Mr. Frank, Ms. Trin, Dr. Fulton, Ms. Pierce, Ms. Bartolotti, Ms. Powell, and Ms. Hathaway, we can measure the number of years you serve, but we cannot measure the sacrifice and the impact that you've had in the lives of your students and your co workers. Thank you so much you guys will be missed. And finally, seniors, you guys are wrapping it up in a few minutes. It's been a great high school career. I'm sorry it was cut a little bit short. Underclassmen, we can't wait for next year to start anew and start fresh. We're going to have a great year. And I'll tell you what, it's been a lot of fun here doing these announcements every week, and we look forward to, for great things to come on that front. Thanks for everything, Argos. Hang in there. Let's close out strong. Before we go, I want to recognize the team that brought you these video announcements each week. Our videos were simple, but they involved a lot of work, tracking down information and people, shooting, editing, reshooting, re-editing. And here's our team. Wait, Scotty, where's our team? I am the team. Yes, it was just Scotty. And Scotty's graduating now. So if you thought our videos were blurry, our audio scratchy, our jokes lame, and if you thought our overall production was subpar, we may need your help. Hello, my name is Coach Hastings. My name is Brian Yoshida. Jessica Bartolotti. Jody Acosta. Natalie Grace. Catherine Butterfield Myers. Anna Din. Han Din. Melissa Pierce. Lois Brasov Magdi. Before I became a teacher here, but before I became a counselor here, I was a student at GGHS just like you. Just like you. Just like you. Just like you. Walking these hallways. Sitting in this classroom. Actually, sitting in this very classroom. I'm a proud graduate of Garden of High School, class of 1994. Class of 1983. Class of 2009. 2001. 1992. 1986. 2002. 1975. 2003. But I'm not the only Garden Grove graduate in my family. My twin sisters, my brother who's the oldest, also graduated from Garden High School. And my dad, Yoshiaki Yoshida, also went to Garden High School. And he graduated here in 1941. My husband, Larry Acosta, and his four siblings also attended Garden Grove High School. I have two daughters that are also Argonauts. My mom is also an Argo, Diana Tedkin, class of 1973. I also have two uncles and two aunts who are also Argos. I have five siblings who are also Garden Grove High School graduates, as well as 10 nieces and nephews. And in just a few short years, we're gonna have another crop of Butterfields going through Grove. So in 1999, uh, my dad, with the help of a counselor, decided to bronze the Argonaut head so that um, it still looks as good now as it did then. And he also made the uh, monument sign here to the school as a thank you for having all six of us go through here. In this very classroom where Mrs. Shook taught Latin for more than 30 years. And then, eight years later, she passed the torch on to me to carry on that Latin legacy. I also have a few siblings who are Argonauts. Emmanuel, Daniel, Alan, Ariel, Damaris, Samuel, Lois, Persida, Narcis, Monica, and David. That is 11 of us. 11? Are you serious? Yes, 11. So my dad, Doug Percy, was class of 1967. And here's his letterman's jacket from when he played varsity football and baseball. My mom, Diane Mariola, was class of 1969. And here is her sweater. She was in the girls' league. I also have two uncles and an aunt that are Argos, classes of 69 and 74. Finally, my uncle, Mark Mariola, not only was that class of 69, but he went on to become a teacher here at Garden Grove High School and taught in the district for over 30 years. And we are a proud Argo family. We are a proud Argo family. And we are a proud Argo family. And we are a proud Argonaut family for over 50 years. 
soon you too will join this Argo family. On June 8th, when you walk this field to become a proud graduate of Garden Grove High School on its 100th anniversary, congratulations. Congratulations.